Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. An aircraft carrier is a crucial component of military defense and serves as a symbol of a country's relevance and power. This massive vessel is more than what you might be imagining and in this video we will unravel every detail, every secret that makes this marvel of engineering a force to be reckoned with. These aircraft carriers, which cost six billion dollars each, take eight to twelve years to build and are incredibly massive, measuring up to one thousand feet in length. To put this into perspective, that is equivalent to the length of three American football fields. Additionally, these carriers have a height of approximately 250 feet. The aircraft carrier is equipped with numerous military hardware features and is primarily used for launching and recovering high-speed jets. This allows for swift crisis response and land attacks from the sea. The design of the vessel prioritizes the comfort of the crew, as they will be calling this ship their home for an extended period of time. The flight deck operations on an aircraft carrier are meticulously executed to ensure the safety of personnel and equipment on board. Foreign object damage, or FOD, is a major concern that requires constant vigilance due to the high volume of activity. This begins with conducting frequent FOD walks. In this process, all available personnel scour the flight deck or tarmac for any loose materials that could potentially be sucked into a jet engine. A few minutes before launch, the aircraft is taxied from its parking position and attached to the catapult system on the deck. As the tow bar of the aircraft is attached, a 12-foot portion of the flight deck is raised to stand at least 50 feet from the tail of the aircraft on the designated slot of the catapult. Over the years, steam-powered catapults have been used to launch aircraft from aircraft carriers. These catapults use high-pressure steam to generate the force needed to accelerate the aircraft and achieve the necessary takeoff speed in a short distance. The problem with steam-powered catapults is that they are considered too expensive and challenging to maintain, and they are unable to accommodate the modern aircraft that are being planned for the future. This has paved the way for electromagnetic aircraft launch systems, also known as EMALs, which offer several advantages over traditional steam-based systems. The electromagnetic aircraft launch system causes less stress on the airframe, resulting in increased safety, endurance, and lower maintenance costs for the aircraft. The electromagnetic launch system supplies electric power to storage systems, generating magnetic fields that smoothly accelerate the aircraft. This reduces stress on the airframes and results in a smoother launch. An aircraft carrier can accommodate up to 3,200 personnel on board, including 1,500 air wings and 500 other crew members, each with their own designated responsibilities. The ship boasts a spacious galley, or kitchen area, that caters to the needs of 6,000 sailors. This presents the carrier's kitchen crew with the daunting responsibility of preparing more than 17,000 meals every day. Additionally, the ship features grocery stores, excellent air conditioning systems, and specially equipped resting and sleeping areas. A retail service specialist is responsible for managing grocery stores and other facilities. The profits generated from the sales of items are used to fund various activities and maintain the facilities. Additionally, an aircraft carrier will have multiple grocery stores where one can expect to find a diverse selection of food, beverages, and health and wellness items. An aircraft carrier typically has multiple dining facilities that serve approximately 15,000 freshly prepared meals every day. 
These meals are served throughout the day, including breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a midnight meal known as mid rats or midnight rations. The flight deck operations on an aircraft carrier are carried out by key personnel with limited access to the outside world for most individuals. The flight deck, hangar and fantail offer stunning views of the sea and sky. However, due to the high level of activity and potential hazards, access is restricted to only a select few during regular operations. The commanding officer holds ultimate responsibility for the entire ship and ensuring the successful completion of its assigned mission. They are situated at the top of the aircraft carrier. The sailors working below decks may not see daylight for weeks at a time. An aircraft carrier is essentially a floating city, complete with a diverse range of facilities that are comparable to those found on land. The 5,000 crew members on board an aircraft carrier can consume over 800 pounds of vegetables in a single day. Cooks are constantly required to prepare meals for different activities and undergo training for new responsibilities. Sailors who work on labor-intensive sailing ships burn more than 4,000 calories a day due to the physical demands of their jobs. The health of the crew was another crucial factor in the importance of food. After all, if the crew is not feeling well, they will not be able to fulfill their responsibilities. The cook ensures that each food is cooked to the required quality standards. Good food not only keeps the crew healthy, but also plays a significant role in maintaining the sailors' morale on board Navy aircraft carriers. The culinary team strives to modify menus, organize themed events, and provide treats to keep spirits high. Life on board a Navy aircraft carrier can be both challenging and rewarding. For breakfast, the mess hall is open from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m., offering various dishes with special options daily. Each day, there are several options available, including vegetarian dishes and gluten-free choices. When discussing multitasking, it is not a simple task to place over 100 pieces of meat on a grill, flip them at the appropriate time, and ensure that they are all cooked thoroughly. To ensure efficient cooking for large groups, massive basins are utilized for steaming numerous bags of vegetables. Additionally, a colossal dough mixer designed for child-sized operation is capable of mixing 60 pounds of dough for freshly baked bread. Taking a glimpse into one of these galleys will show you multiple pans of impressive size that can hold up to 80 gallons of food. The supply ships deliver the goods and ingredients to the carrier every two weeks, typically dropping off 500,000 to 1 million pounds of food with every trip. Food for the ship's general mess is ordered from the nearest fleet logistics center. Typically, they have dry stores in their warehouses and partner with local vendors to supply dairy items, meats, seafood, fresh fruits, and vegetables. These items are then delivered to the carrier's pier side, the workers then lift the delivered food with a lift truck and store it in multiple locations, including freezers, walk-ins, and dry storage areas. Sailors spend the majority of their time at sea, which means they do not have access to the same conveniences and facilities as those available on land. The United States Navy has made practically everything available to its sailors that they would have access to if they were stationed on dry land. This is done to ensure that the sailors remain in the best physical condition and that their morale remains high enough to effectively carry out their duties. During day-to-day -day operations, an aircraft carrier typically conducts 40 to 60 launches and recoveries per day. 
The number may vary depending on the training requirements of the pilots and deck crews. The deck crews, pilots, and all other sailors on an aircraft carrier are the unsung heroes of our global economy. They navigate the seas with resilience, facing constant challenges and always ready for whatever the ship might encounter while on its mission. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you won't miss any of our new content. Until then, take care and see you next time.